Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Unboxed. My name is Brian and today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing Jordan Brand's latest delivery, the Air Jordan 1 OG High Crimson Tint. If you guys are ready, let's go. So, Jordan Brand is continuing its strong 2019 campaign with another Air Jordan 1. I know what you guys are thinking, go figure. If there's one model that they're gonna keep releasing, it's probably gonna be a one. So, we saw instant classics earlier this year, such as the Blue Chill, the Turbo Greens, and the Hyper Crimsons, and now, moving into April, we have the Crimson Tint. So, diving right into the materials of this shoe, right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you guys, it is not tumbled leather. As you can see throughout the entirety of the shoe, on the side panels, on the toe box, and on the collar, it is pebbled leather. You can tell by the textures, like that ripple effect throughout the entire shoe. I personally think it's really dope in hand. It kind of gives like the shoe different layers, you know, it's like something that we're not used to seeing in Jordan 1s, at least not something that we've seen in a while. So it's really nice to see Jordan Brand switch it up a little bit. Now, as far as on the back heel and on the toe box, the leather is kind of stiff, not plush. I would say that this is the kind of shoe that you will have to wear multiple times in order to break it in. For all of you guys out there with wide feet, it's gonna be a pain, but with the way this shoe looks, I personally think that it's worth it. Now, moving over to the tongue, we have the Crimson Tint Nike Air Tag, as well as a nylon tongue, and the sock liner is not like a, uh, like the regular material as we've seen in other Jordan 1s. It's more like a neoprene material, which is like pretty dope in my opinion. And moving into over into the insole, it is a hyper pink. So uh, I really don't understand like the, uh, the, the color selection with this shoe because it does come with two extra laces, one crimson and one green. And I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking like, where does the green come from? I don't know. So uh, there is green like, right where it says Nike Air on the sole, it is a, a green Nike Air. So I think that's where that this correlates to the shoe, but this one was a bit of a curveball. ball. Even, even if they meant to do it, this kind of confuses the hell out of me. So I, I really don't know. Now for me, the Crimson Tint actually reminds me a lot of the Rust Pink Jordan 1s that released a few years ago at Art Basel Miami. The main differences between that shoe and this shoe is the color blocking scheme. So on the Rust Pink, there was pink on the back heel, white for the side panels and a white toe box as well as a white tongue. And for this one, you can see that they chose to go with black, but pretty much kind of like the same scheme. Overall, the Rust Pink Jordan 1 blew out very, very, very limited. Needless to say, getting the Rust Pinks were nearly impossible for your average everyday kind of consumer and pairs are still selling for northwards of 5,000 and up. So, bro. It's like pretty much insane. So if you guys missed out on those, then I would say that this Crimson Tint right here would be a good second place constellation. Okay guys, that is a wrap. Thank you so much for watching this latest episode of Unbox. Just as a reminder, the Air Jordan 1 Crimson Tint will be releasing online only on April 13th. So don't miss out guys. Other than that, my name is Brian and until the next episode or until the next Jordan 1 release, I will see you guys next time. Peace.